Hello, and welcome to our channel. If this is the first time you are visiting our channel, please consider subscribing. We create and share high-quality and informative medical videos that will help each one of us make healthy choices and decisions in our daily life. We welcome all of you and appreciate your support and encouragement. We are committed to producing more medical videos that will benefit all of us. Thank you. In today's video, we will talk about fibromyalgia. We will cover some of the most critical life-saving tips and information you need to know about fibromyalgia and its effect on the body. We will also talk about how to manage or lessen the impact of its symptoms. Therefore, make sure you watch till the end of this video. So, let's get started. Here are the 9 questions and topics we will be covering in this video. From the answers to these 9 questions, I promise you will surely discover some life-saving facts and tips about fibromyalgia that you need to be aware of. So, here are the questions we will be covering. Number 1. What is fibromyalgia? Number 2. What are some signs and symptoms of fibromyalgia that you need to watch for? Number 3. What is fibromyalgia fog? Number 4. What are some risk factors that could lead to fibromyalgia? Number 5. How is fibromyalgia treated? Number 6. What's included in the fibromyalgia diet list? Number 7. What are certain types of food you would want to integrate into your diet when you have fibromyalgia? Number 8. Why is it essential to consume types of food that are rich in this antioxidant? Coenzyme Q10. Number 9. What are some types of food you would want to avoid when suffering from fibromyalgia? So, let's start answering the first question, what is fibromyalgia? Fibromyalgia is a health condition that causes musculoskeletal pain, affecting muscles and bones, making them painful. This health condition leads to many health problems, including general fatigue, sleep problems, memory problems, and mood issues. People with fibromyalgia also develop chronic tension headaches, irritable bowel syndrome, anxiety and depression. There are so many risk factors that can lead to fibromyalgia, and some of these factors include physical trauma, surgery, infection or significant psychological stress, Note, women are more likely to develop fibromyalgia than men. Fibromyalgia health condition can be hard to understand. This is because its symptoms simulate those of other health conditions. As a result, fibromyalgia is often misdiagnosed. Now that we defined fibromyalgia, so what are some signs and symptoms of fibromyalgia? Some of these signs and symptoms include Number 1. Pain and stiffness all over the body. You may even experience pelvic and abdominal pain. Number 2. Headaches and chronic migraines. Number 3. Fatigue. For example, feeling tired, even after sleeping for long periods. Note, regarding people with fibromyalgia, their sleep is often disrupted by pain and restless leg syndrome. Number 3. Cognitive difficulties. You may experience difficulty focusing, paying attention, or concentrating on mental tasks, which require focus and cognitive thought. Number 4. You may experience tingling or numbness in your hands and feet. Number 5. 
You may experience pain in your face as well as jaw, which is called temporomandibular joint syndrome. Number 5. You may experience digestive problems, including abdominal pain, bloating, constipation, and even irritable bowel syndrome. Number 6. Bladder problems. People with fibromyalgia may experience chronic inflammation of the bladder muscle layers, resulting in frequent urination, accidental urine leakage, or urgency. Number 7. Fibromyalgia tender points. Some of these tender points are located around the elbows, shoulders, knees, hips, back of the head, and the sides of the breastbone. Therefore, even touching these areas lightly can cause pain. What is fibromyalgia fog? Fibromyalgia fog is also referred to as brain fog or fibrofog. These two terms are used to describe the fuzzy feeling people with fibromyalgia experience. Some signs of fibrofog may include memory lapses, difficulty thinking, difficulty concentrating, and difficulty staying alert. Note, according to the National Library of Medicine, published in Rheumatology International, some people find mental fogginess from fibromyalgia more upsetting than pain. Now that we know more about fibromyalgia. So, what are some risk factors that could lead to fibromyalgia? Some of the risk factors are Number 1. Age Even though fibromyalgia affects all ages, including children, middle-aged people are more likely to have fibromyalgia. Therefore, as you get older, you are at higher risk of developing fibromyalgia health condition. Number 2. Suffering from certain health conditions. If you have lupus or rheumatoid arthritis, you are more likely to develop fibromyalgia. Number 3. Viruses. Certain viruses such as the Epstein-Barr virus and the viruses that cause hepatitis B, hepatitis C and influenza have all been linked to the development of fibromyalgia. How is fibromyalgia treated? It is crucial to note that fibromyalgia should be treated by a specialist doctor and healthcare professionals who specialize in the treatment of fibromyalgia and arthritis. And these specialists are called rheumatologists. Fibromyalgia can be treated and managed using medical interventions and non-medical interventions. Some of these interventions and treatments are Number 1. Medications. These medications include prescribed medications and over-the-counter medications. Note, make sure you consult with your doctor regarding the proper medications if you have fibromyalgia. Number 2. Aerobic exercises and muscle strengthening exercises. This is because these exercises improve pain, help with stiffness, and improve the overall quality of life in people with fibromyalgia. Note, it is recommended to use gentle aerobic exercises and avoid exercises or activities that push you too hard as this can worsen your symptoms. Number 3. Stress management. These include meditation, yoga, and massage. This is because feeling stressed makes fibromyalgia worse. Many people with fibromyalgia also experience feelings of depression, anxiety, and frustration. Therefore, stress management is highly effective in managing fibromyalgia symptoms. Number 4. Avoid drinking too much coffee during the day. A high amount of daily caffeine may negatively affect individuals with fibromyalgia. A high caffeine intake can interfere with sleep patterns and quality, especially when you have fibromyalgia. This is because people with fibromyalgia already have difficulty sleeping. Therefore, drinking coffee makes their sleep quality even worse. 
Number 5. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. This is a psychosocial intervention that aims to improve mental health. It is advisable to participate in this kind of therapy because some people with fibromyalgia go through depression. So, this is a crucial support that they shouldn't ignore. We cannot ignore how vital certain foods are for our body, especially when we suffer from certain chronic health conditions. We all know that eating a well-balanced diet maintains the energy levels that our body needs. Also, staying physically and mentally active can lead to better overall health. Therefore, people who have fibromyalgia should not only exercise caution when eating certain types of food, but they also need to eat a well-balanced diet that contains protein and fiber while lowering carbohydrates intake. So, what is included in the fibromyalgia diet list that you would want to integrate into your diet when suffering from fibromyalgia? Some of these foods are Number 1. Foods that are rich in antioxidants. These types of food include kidney beans, dark chocolate, pecans, boiled artichokes, cilantro, berries. Number 2. Types of food that are high in amino acids. These include red meat, poultry, fish, dairy, especially low-fat cheese, low-fat yogurt, quinoa, soybeans. Number 3. Food containing coenzyme Q10. These include organic meats such as heart, liver, kidney. It also includes soy oil, sardines, mackerel, peanuts. Number 4. Anti-inflammatory vegetables. These include kale, spinach, bok choy, arugula, collard greens. Note, some people with fibromyalgia have food sensitivities when they consume certain types of food. Thus, it is vital to consult your doctor to create your own fibromyalgia diet food list that is best for your body. When you have fibromyalgia, why is it essential to consume types of food that are rich in this antioxidant coenzyme Q10? This antioxidant plays a significant role in converting the food you eat into energy. Therefore, it is vital for people with fibromyalgia to consume types of food that are rich in coenzyme Q10. This is because people with fibromyalgia suffer from tiredness and fatigue, and consuming coenzyme Q10 is the right antioxidant that your body needs to produce the high energy levels you need. List of food containing coenzyme Q10 are listed in the previous topic we covered in this presentation. Now that we talked about types of food that you would want to integrate into your diet. So, what are some types of food you want to avoid when having fibromyalgia? Some of these foods are Number 1. Aspartame This is because foods sweetened with aspartame could worsen fibromyalgia symptoms. Aspartame is a neurotoxin that the body usually attacks, which causes inflammation in the body. Number 2. Food additives such as monosodium glutamate, MSG, and nitrates. MSG is a flavor enhancer that can be found in many processed foods and frozen foods. Many experts reported that consuming types of food containing these additives intensifies pain symptoms in people with fibromyalgia. According to the National Library of Medicine, Clinical and Experimental Rheumatology Journal dated 2012, people who have fibromyalgia and irritable bowel syndrome 
who stopped using monosodium glutamate and aspartame noticed a 30% decrease in fibromyalgia symptoms. However, the symptoms recurred when they started consuming these types of additives again. Number 3. Dairy Products Even though consuming dairy products is vital for your body to function daily, as they have vital nutrients that your body needs, it is recommended to limit dairy intake. This is because many dairy products contain saturated fat. Consuming saturated fat causes cholesterol to build up in your blood vessels and raise your LDL cholesterol in your blood, which increases your risk for heart disease and even stroke. This is because some people with fibromyalgia may already have heart problems due to this health condition. Therefore, consuming saturated fat will make it even worse. Thus, it is recommended to opt for low-fat dairy alternatives such as soy milk. Number 4. Caffeine. We all know caffeine can increase our heart rate and blood pressure. This puts high on muscle tissue of the heart. Therefore, people with fibromyalgia should refrain from consuming caffeinated foods and beverages, or at least consume them in moderation. This is because people with fibromyalgia may already suffer from heart disease, including cardiac failure. Therefore, limiting caffeine intake will surely help with fibromyalgia. Note, it is always recommended to speak to your doctor before consuming major food types that may affect your fibromyalgia or other health conditions that you may be dealing with. To summarize, Suffering from fibromyalgia can lead to many complex health problems if ignored and not treated on time. So, it is crucial to know its signs and symptoms for early interventions and treatments. Also, you should not delay medical interventions and treatments when you suspect that you have fibromyalgia. Now it is your turn. What are some other ways to reduce the effects of fibromyalgia? What are other types of food do you eat regularly when you have fibromyalgia? Please share your experience in the comments below. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.